Howdy folks, Blues Boy Jag here, yet another cigar box guitar. This is a six stringer Arturo Puente. I sell a ton of these. Tens and teen. This is a King Bee box. These are pretty big for cigar boxes. And they're perfect size for a six stringer. So, here's what we have here. That's a Gibson style bridge, adjustable, so you can perfectly intonate it. And that is a Gretsch style humbucker. Rosewood Strat style neck. Logo. Signed and numbered on the back. Old school style strap holders. Quarter inch jack, one volume control. Now I've got this cranked out through a 1948 Valco. You don't have to have a 1948 Valco to make this thing sound good, but it just sounds so amazing, so I thought I'd do a video with it. So right now, uh, volume's about halfway up. This is, I think, a 12, 13, 15 watt amp, something like that, and uh, no effects whatsoever. I've lowered the bridge part just a little bit and you can set this however you like but on this side on the bass side you can see where it's a little bit lower that's because I got just a little bit too bass, much bass response with this pickup being in the center of the guitar now sometimes if you put the pickup here uh, that bass response will be just a little bit more levelized closer to the bridge but I usually put these right in the center because you know that way you get all the options available to you and it's a, it's a little bit more malleable either way, treble or bass, so I put them right in the middle there. So your mileage may vary with your amp uh, and your preferences and your pedals and the time of day and the color of your hair and how tall you are and what you had to eat last night and how much you slept and how many beers you had. So there's lots of different options with these things though because you can raise and lower that, that pickup uh, however you like it. So you can raise your treble side, you can raise your bass side, you can lower your bass side, you can, you get the idea. Set it up however you like. Uh, I prefer it this way because it, for the chords, it sounds nice and beefy, but not too much, not too much bass. So that's how I have it set up. You can set it up however you like. You can raise and lower the bridge however you like. If you want to play slide on this, a lot of people would raise the strings up, especially if you're going to be using a capo. Same thing, raise your bridge. No problem. You can adjust this however you like. You can make this a slide guitar. You can make it a regular old fretted guitar, which is what it is right now. However you want to do it. Now, I've got a pedal here that emulates a Fender reverb tank. A uh, tremendous pedal called the 63 Fender Reverb put out by Boss. Tremendous, tremendous, did I say tremendous? Tremendous pedal. And this adds a nice shimmer, kind of a reverb shimmer onto it for an old school blues tone. <laughs> distortion on here. That's a blues driver pedal. Your mileage may vary. You don't have to use these pedals. You can use whatever pedals you want, whatever brand you want, whatever brand strings you want. None of those, none, did I say none? None of those things come into play. You can just experiment. You do not, do not, do not have to have the same pedals that I have. A lot of people say, well, well you get that tone with that pedal. What pedal is that? You can get that tone with just a billion pedals. This is just a blues driver pedal. There's a billion similar style uh, blues pedals out there. 
So right now, I've got the uh, reverb and the blues pedal. Now you may have noticed, well, that added some treble to it. Well, yeah, I can turn the treble down on my pedal here. Now you may not be able to tell that quite so well on the phone. And I don't have this set for a rock and roll setting right now. It's more like a, for a blues setting. Kind of subtle. more uh, gain, more distortion to it. Guitar by Blues Boy Jang. Once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for your kind support.